Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. We're continuing our new start. Today we're going to build a teleporter and uh, we'll be able to teleport up to the space station. Uh, it's telling us what to do down there if I can get my uh, ship's information off the screen. Craft for metal plate. Now do we have that much uh, ferrite? There we go. I just crafted more using the D key. Now we need, uh, now it's going to catch up to me over here. Then we have 100 carbon. Now we need two carbon nanotubes. Gather sodium. Build the base uh, teleport module. We're going to put it in, in here even though it's going to stick through the roof. A little tiny bit. Oh, it looks like it might be clearing it just barely. All right. Supply power to the base uh, teleport module. So, uh, select powering the base in the mission log. So if we go in the log, it says powering the base. And then it tells us to access the build menu. And uh, if we look in there, it says we need a metal plate. So we'll make another one. I think we're going to run out of ferrite here soon. Biofuel reactor. We already had the oxygen. And then we're going to grab a wire. And you see it turns to a dot when you're on there. There you go. And fuel the biofuel reactor. Now don't put very much in here. Click on it. Click on the carbon. Then click on the C key to lower that down as far as it will go. That is going to stay lit for three hours. <laughs> that little tiny bit of carbon. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We have an upgrade module on us, but that's not what we want to do next. That's what we want to do next. A lot of the Awakenings mission is just being patient for the next mission marker to come up. A uh, scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archive. Base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Very cool. Investigate the space station. Follow in the footsteps of the base computer's previous owner. Now, uh, we can click on stations. There's only two places for us to go, uh, but you can click on stations and it'll give you only the station. Warp to Rizungan platform. The only reason we're able to do that is because we have already come here in the ship. All right, now, so, uh, explore the space station find life forms to ask about the mysterious signal now I'm gonna warn you now if you're new to this game do not talk to these merchants during this part of the mission talk to these guys that look like they don't have anything better to do <laughs> Amir Neki friend <laughs> the alien squeals as I approach they seem excited to see me though I cannot understand their babbling tongue Perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned. Ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the life form's face and they re release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signify our conversation is over. <laughs> Let's ask a Viking. This dude right here is a Viking. We don't know any Viking words yet. We could have learned some earlier, but I chose not to do it that way. The life form puffs themselves up as I approach, making the most of their impressive size. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face, and then in an instant the fear passes. They look at me strangely but say nothing more. Is there a Corvax on board? Maybe I can talk to a Corvax. Maybe the Corvax will be more sensible. There does not seem to be a Corvax here today. Alright. 
more strange gas or another Viking that might punch me in the face. Let's 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 do this. Let's talk to this broker. Uh, Gesta Pavoy. <laughs> the life form chatters away, assessing me with their beady, inquisitive eyes. But when I blink, I see that same red light that stared at me at the at the distress beacon. Very odd. We're watching you, traveler friend. Fi oh, you're you're photo bombing here. Find what we have left uh, you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form blinking at me expectantly. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Perhaps. Let's go down here to our, our secret teleporter access panel. <laughs> and back to our base. the base computer. Use archives to decrypt the code acquired from the space station. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding 16 message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Signal acquired. Life signs detected. Here it is over there. 38 minutes. I'm not walking that far. Now, the ship is sitting over there. We can go over there and get in it and launch from there, but that's going to use launch fuel. As it happens, we have some navigation data. So I'm going to come over here to the uh, Starship call uh, device, and without using any fuel at all, I'm going to bring the Starship in. And then when we launch from here, we won't use any fuel at all. You see in the upper right corner, no fuel. It'll tell you if you're using fuel. One minute away. Ooh, cool. I wonder if I can fly through here without doing too much damage. Oh, <laughs> that rock was cheating. <laughs> Possible distress signal. Approximate location. Still 37 seconds away. It's going to be a crashed freighter around here somewhere. Still pretty far. I do like my desert planets. You can see for miles and miles. This one's not terrible with the mountains. Oh, there's a trade ship. All right, here's our approximate location. And there's a crashed freighter. That's exactly what we're looking for. Inside this crashed freighter, you can see cargo pods. There's one that's underground. There's another one that's in a room. There's one that's underground, and there's another one over there underneath the uh, uh, forward section. You can dig those up and get treasure out of them. But do be careful, because when you open the treasure boxes, all kinds of uh, toxic waste comes out. MS Wings of the Anomaly. Log damaged. Partial records. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They're followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. 
A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. I pull the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. And there it is. And as I said before, we need microprocessors. <laughs> You're not going to find microprocessors in here. You might find fuel uh, for the hyperdrive. You might find uh, different kinds of elements. Some of them rare, some of them easy to find. There's a damaged machinery right there. Alright, let's jump up into the upper atmosphere. Make this trip a little bit shorter. And there's our base right there. We have plenty of money. We can just buy microprocessors. I was hoping to find them. You can find them in, the, in those yellow boxes as you're uh, traveling around. We just didn't get lucky. He only had a couple. And right there is microprocessors. We need five. 137,000. And now we can install the hyperdrive. Here we go. We do have a hyperdrive upgrade. It's only C class, but it'll add a little tiny bit. Uh, I don't know if it's going to add anything helpful to it, though. Uh, 89 light years it added, so our range is 194 light years. Not a big deal. And that was the Starship Shield. We don't need that yet. Right. Craft warp fuel. Find the antimatter recipe. Auto-diagnostics report. Hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. But without warp cells, I'll be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune the scanner to antimatter. Search for antimatter traces with the starship scanner. C. Scanner attuned to antimatter. We didn't seem to find anything. There's atmospheric interference detected. Let's go into space. Now we should be good and clear. There we go. Over there. <laughs> Not clear of flat path. I took damage all the way down. <laughs> it looks like our antimatter trace is back on AC. Maybe that, uh, or maybe it's on the frozen moon. I don't know. Moon of AC. Looks like it might be on the frozen moon. Cool, we haven't been there. I was thinking maybe we'd have another shot at that cave creature, but he <laughs> didn't show up. Approximate location. We're looking for an abandoned building. So if we come down here, you can see there's a building right there. That's probably where we want to go. There's no landing pads, so it's most likely abandoned. Now, if you uh, started your adventure in No Man's Sky with the expedition, you'll remember that you can get these uh, eggs here and turn the product of that, the larval core, into nanites. 
Uh, before we go in, let's hold down our scanner and look and see if there's any uh, hazardous plants in that uh, ceiling there. I don't see anything right now. There's lots of animals, though. I don't want to get smacked by a whippy plant. Here's the forgotten terminal. We're just going to dump this goop. I don't want to do all the refining. <laughs> Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. You will find us when the time is right. And there's our antimatter. And along with antimatter, we also got a housing uh, blueprint, antimatter housing. So we can make that. And we can make the antimatter. And then we will have warp cells right there. We don't have enough chromatic metal to make any more. So we can take that and click on the hyperdrive and grab the warp cell and put it in. Only a quarter full, though. Oh, there's a rolling ball of goo and chitin over there. Hello. <laughs> Just cruising along. What's something else. That's another rolling ball of chitin. It's nighttime as usual. This uh, save seems to be plagued with loads of nighttime. All right, the hyperdrive is refueled. Let's launch into space. We're gonna grab a save first. Still a couple of planets here we haven't been to. The galaxy map offers a wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Browse nearby systems for available routes to choose your next destination. So we're going to hit X and then tab over to the galaxy map. We only have to tab because we don't really have enough fuel. But we have quite a good distance we can travel. Now we can follow this line. That's the galactic core line. Uh, or you can go anywhere else you want to go. Uh, this region, let's see if I can get the region on there. This region is called Jaikian's Conflux. The region we live in is called the Sea of Nornet. Each re region has a different uh, guild. So if you don't want to be in the Mercenaries Guild, you can go on to the next region and see what they've got. That is another Gex system, though. So, uh, let's see if we go anywhere else. The game very much wants us to go to a particular type of location. Uh, Jaikian's Conflux, Viking. Let's go there instead. Loads more planets there. <laughs> we still have a couple of planets to land on in our own system. But we'll take this first jump and check out this new system. Oh, hello. Nigopia system. Discovered already by Amish Dinosaur. That planet is uh, lush, I believe it was. Uh, ship monitoring systems report error. Searching for other routes. Destination. Accept new guidance. Sure. Plotting route. There's a, that's a, actually a paradise planet. Let's see where it leads us to. Oh, it's taking us to the paradise planet. Lovely. Let's go land at the space station first. That way, if there's any difficulty, if the game crashes, or if anything else happens, or we have to leave the game suddenly... Uh, we can just teleport back to the system. 
And we'll also find out what guild is here. And uh, I think we'll sell that X-Class module. But we won't need any kind of hazard protection on that paradise planet. So if you look up there, you can see that signal right there is the guild signal. That's the Explorer's Guild. Not what I'm looking for. But let's go see what the multi-tool is. You can meet all these people here and learn language from them. We might do that. And we can go over here, take a look at the multi-tool. On this side, it's a B-class. Doesn't matter where the actual tool is. And on this side, it is also a B-class, very stable. All right, let's get an exosuit upgrade. Was there a, there is a hole right there in the middle. I want to grab that one. And we have a module that we can sell. So we're going to click sell and switch to the starship. We'll get 342 nanites for that. Uh, underwater? Don't we have an underwater module somewhere? Hmm. Movement module, that's nice. I thought I had an underwater module somewhere. Uh, all right, we'll put that in the exosuit. Now, we want to arrange these things uh, so that they're touching each other. So let's grab that uh, upgrade for the movement module and put it right next to that. That gives us synergy. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best it could be. Uh, Jetpack tanks, 203%. That's okay. It's not great. This hyperdrive is terrible. <laughs> I wonder if we can get a better one. Come over here to the ship dealer. Uh, let's see. Cyclotron. There is a hyperdrive here. So let's grab that one. Now we're down to 1600 nanites. We'll keep an eye on that. And we're going to change places here. We're going to pick that up with E and move it. And we'll put that over there. That gives us 220 light years and warp cell efficiency, which means we'll be able to fly further on our warp cells. But right now we don't have any. But there's a signal down there uh, leading us, hopefully, to a new warp cell. On that lovely paradise planet. Blue water, blue sky, green grass. Perfect. It's going to be dark. <laughs> Seem to be having difficulties with landing on the dark sides of planets. I believe we're looking for a monolith. over here and take a look around while we're here. There's a monolith. That seems like a likely place to go. Wow. Windelec Mita. That's a really cool tree right there. Oh, there's sky worms here. Largest planet we've ever been on. And there's some nice uh, planets in the background there. There's a knowledge stone up there next to some uh, stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's some chocolate. <laughs> Impulse beans. And our first uh, Viking word to pink, ter pink, ter pink. Yig, yig, yig. <laughs> There we go. There is the word Viking. Wow, what a great looking place. Oops. <laughs> I might have smacked into some oxygen just now. 
Oops. Oh, there's another one. And interloper. With some more oxygen. Alright. Let's learn all these words, too. Whoops. <laughs> Time for a journey milestone break. 15 words. There we go. May as well scan those worms. The heart of the anomaly. The structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? I think I'm a traveler. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Last. I'm not the first one. I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? We saw each other at my crash site. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. From that, we're going to get uh, a warp cell. Pretty cool. And a new step in the Awakenings mission. Uh, we can put that warp cell into the ship. So now we have 31%. Not much still. Oh, there's a chicken. Gotta scan the chickens. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, next time, we will uh, check out this planet, I think. There's lots of stuff here and no dangers. I want to thank you all so very much for coming along. I do hope you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.